First Amendment privileges because they have committed themselves to that over that. Somewhere I read of the freedom of assembly. Somewhere I read of the freedom of speech. Somewhere I read of the freedom of press. Somewhere I read that the greatness of America is the right to protest for right. On February 1st, 1968, two garbage collectors were crushed to death by a malfunctioning truck. Twelve days later, frustrated by the city's response to the latest event in a long pattern of neglect and abuse of its black employees, 1,300 black men from the Memphis Department of Public Works went on strike. They demanded recognition of their union, better safety standards, and a decent wage. Dr. King was in Memphis to support the workers. Unfortunately, a riot broke out, so embarrassed, Dr. King left. Dr. King traveled back to Memphis to demonstrate that a peaceful protest could succeed in achieving their goals of equality across the barriers of race. Dr. King was staying at the Lorraine Motel during his second visit to Memphis. While standing on the balcony in front of his room, he was shot in the face at 6.01 p.m. He was taken to St. Joseph Hospital and at 7.05 p.m. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., the voice of nonviolence during the Civil Rights Movement, was pronounced dead. The ending of his life lit the match that sparked a five-day nationwide hill whose effects are present to this very day. Thousands of mourners lined the streets of Atlanta on April 9, 1968 as the civil rights leader was laid to rest. A public service was held at the renowned black institution Morehouse College while a private ceremony was held by the King family. The service marked almost a week of turmoil in the black community following King's assassination. Yeah. 
to the light. Oh, take my hand, precious love, and leave. is a CBS News special report. Dan Rather reporting for CBS News from New York. The Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. was shot to death by an assassin late today as he stood on a balcony in Memphis, Tennessee. Dr. King had planned to lead another civil rights march in Memphis next Monday. We got the latest on the story now from Russ Hodge, news director of WREC-TV in Memphis. Police recovered what is believed to be the murder weapon, a Browning rifle with a scope sight. Reverend Andrew Young, King's top lieutenant, was at the hospital awaiting word and described the shooting. Well, we were at the Torch Motel, and we were getting ready to go to dinner at Reverend Kyle's house, and we were waiting for Dr. King to get ready. And as, as he came out of his room on the edge of the balcony, he was shot. And we thought a firecrack had gone on. Most of us were downstairs on the lower level. And we immediately ran up and saw that he'd been pretty badly wounded and sent for the ambulance and the police and everybody.